Better notifications for WordPress allows you to customize the emails that your WordPress website sends out. The default WordPress emails are included, as well as some new ones. You can send these to users or user roles, and it's very easy to set up and get going quickly. To get started, simply go to wordpress.org forward slash plugins forward slash bnfw and download the latest version. Alternatively, you can install the plugin via the admin of your WordPress website. When you finish installing the plugin, you'll see a new selection of menu items in the WordPress admin. If you click all notifications, this will show you all the notifications that you've set up on your WordPress website. A new installation won't have any notifications, so we'll need to create a new one. To do so, click add new on the side here or up here. You'll then be presented with the add new notification screen. To get started, add a label for your notification. This is for your benefit only and will show in the all notifications screen. Let's call it new post published for authors. We'll then select our notification type, which will be new post published. We can then choose our email formatting, HTML or plain text. We can set our from name and email, CC and BCC details. By default, emails are sent out via WordPress and usually WordPress at your domain. If you want to change that, you can change those details here. You can then CC in users or user roles, such as the admin or someone else that might be interested in these emails, and BCC too. You can also choose to send a notification to the author only. This works for posts or pages. For example, if you want to notify the post author that their post has been updated, tick this and that will allow you to do so. You can then choose the users and user roles that you'd like the notification to go to. Select multiple user roles, as well as, or in addition to, individual users. For the purposes of this, we're going to set it to just authors. So that's all authors, all users in the author user role will be notified when new posts are published. If you're one of the users that are included in this send to user role, and you don't wish to receive notifications for this particular notification that you're setting up, you tick this checkbox and that will stop the notification from going through to you. You can then start customizing your email using the subject and message body. You can set it to text mode or visual mode depending upon your preference. And this works just like when adding another post or page to WordPress. It's best to have a look at the shortcode help section before you get started. Clicking this will take you to the help page on my website with the notification that you've already chosen pre-selected. As you can see here, there's lots of notification shortcodes to choose from and they include various pieces of information that might be useful to you, such as the permalink of the post, who the post author was, the post date, ping status, when the post was modified, and so on, as well as details about the user that modified it. I'm going to select some detail here, copy it and paste it in. I always recommend pasting as plain text so that you don't introduce strange formatting into your email. As you can see, it's nice and clean. This is the post title, will be our subject, and we can use the post title shortcode there. Okay, that looks good. As I've said before, you can change the formatting of this, should you wish, just like normal. We're now going to save this notification. Once you've saved your notification, you'll then be given an option to send yourself a test email. This will only be sent to you and just allows you to make sure that the formatting of your message body, the subject, and your shortcodes are correct. Your shortcodes will not be replaced with any detailed information. It's just to make sure the formatting is okay. You can also disable a notification should you need to tweak it, too many notifications going through, or you'd like to just save it for later by ticking this box and saving again. There are some additional settings in Best Notifications for WordPress which you might find useful. If you go to Settings, you'll see two options. The first option allows you to suppress comments that have been marked as spam by Kismet. So if you have a Kismet installed and you have a notification set up for comments awaiting moderation, if a Kismet marks that comment as potential spam, you can tick this box to ensure that you don't receive notifications for spam comments. The second option allows you to change the default email formatting for WordPress. 
and change this to HTML or plain text formatting, but it may affect other plugins, so please see the FAQ for more details. It's now time to test one of our notifications. If we go to the All Notifications screen, you remember that we set up a notification to send a new post published to authors. If we look at our users, you'll see that we have here someone in the author user role. So if we create a new post, this is a notification. This is to go to post author, will be our content. We can choose a category and publish it. And there we have it. A notification has been sent through. You'll see that this is bold, like we made it before, it includes our permalink. We have an italic post ID, like we set in the WYSIWYG editor, as well as the details of the post, the formatted post content, and you can see our post title has been inserted in the subject like we set up. I hope this quick overview gives you a good idea of the features and functionality available in Better Notifications for WordPress, currently at version 1.3. The plugin currently has great reviews and the support is well maintained too. If you need any help, documentation is available on the plugin page at wordpress.org and more documentation and help is coming soon via its own website. There are a number of premium add-ons coming for the plugin too. If you'd like to register for updates, please go to the support forum, to this topmost post, and enter your details to be notified of new releases. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy using the plugin.